I'm Mark Yaxley, General Manager of Strategic Wealth Preservation, the official vault master of the LOAD program. Welcome back to Inside the Vault, Episode 3. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a close look at the LOAD community's silver reserves at the Cayman Islands facility. We're going to be showing you images of the reserve and highlighting a few of the key products that make it up, and I'll be talking a little bit about each. To date, the reserve in Cayman contains approximately 200,000 physical ounces of silver, which is just under half of the total load reserve. The growing reserve now requires an entire section of our Cayman Islands vault, and we're already making plans to allocate more space as the program continues to grow. The balance of the metal is stored in vaults in Toronto, Canada, Frankfurt, Germany, Liechtenstein, Singapore, and Australia. The reserve is comprised of a number of different products, ranging from one ounce silver coins all the way up to a thousand ounce silver bars. The most common product found in the reserve are 100 ounce RMC silver bars. These silver bars are cast by the Republic Metals Corporation at their facility in Miami, Florida. Republic is an LBMA and COMEX approved refinery, so their bars meet the highest industry standards for purity, weight, and source of metals. These 100 ounce bars are recognized globally, from the Cayman Islands to Singapore, resulting in excellent value and liquidity worldwide. A significant portion of the load silver reserves are comprised of sovereign mint silver coins. A sovereign mint is a mint owned and operated by a sovereign government, for example, the Royal Canadian Mint or the United States Mint. We have received a significant quantity of Canadian silver maple leaves and US silver eagles from load contributors many times arriving in 500 coin monster boxes. We have also received one ounce silver coins produced by the Austrian Mint, the wonderful Silver Philharmonic, and from the Perth Mint of Australia, which in my opinion produces some of the most beautiful coins in the world. The advantage of silver coins is that they are produced by sovereign mints, so they enjoy excellent recognition and liquidity worldwide, and are easy mediums of exchange due to their convenient size. The downside would be their premium relative to spot. Coins are typically more expensive than bars, although you can expect to receive a little bit more for coins versus bars when it comes time to liquidate your position. Dealers will tend to bid higher for coins because they know they can sell them onwards at a higher premium in the future. I'd like to take this opportunity to address one misconception that I do hear quite often from investors. And that misconception is that coins are more liquid than bars. In other words, it's easier to sell a coin than it is a bar. This simply isn't true. Any reputable dealer will be willing to bid on your bars or coins at any given time and make you a fair offer, although you can expect to receive a little bit more for your coins than you would for your bars when it comes time to sell them. I hope that you enjoyed this episode of Inside the Vault. We'll be taking a short production break over the next few weeks, but we'll be back with episode four in mid-July. Until then, I wish you well.